Welcome back folks. Today we are going to be doing the last bit of woodworking on the bodies and that's going to involve doing the roundovers on the front and we're going to make some control cavity covers and route the control cavities as well and then before we do that I will just quickly catch you up with the routing for the P90s. <laughs> So throughout the series so far then, you'd have noticed that what I've been doing is the same job on both guitars, one after the other. So I would rough out both necks, rough out both bodies, stick on both fretboards, etc. So this has got to the point now where the builds have diverged slightly, and that's because the tenons for the necks needed to be different. So the P90s are about 7mm narrower than the humbuckers. and I planned to direct mount these P90s into the body and what I wanted was for the, the P90s to sit flush with the end of the tenon and I've got no pickup ring obviously to hide behind. So I needed to make the mortise about 7mm shorter. So what I did is I took the original template I used to route the humbucker version and I got a little piece of wood, got it down to 7mm and then I wedged that in at the very bottom of the template there at the end of the mortise and then I rerouted a new template using this as the master. So now I have a new version which is 7mm shorter than the old one. And then I needed to reduce the length of the neck tenon as it was routed from the same template as the other one. I needed to reduce that tenon by 7mm so I very gingerly cut the end off with a bandsaw and then I just used the disc sander to then get that absolutely flush and square and then again use the disc sander to then put in a radius into the bottom of the tenon so that it would fit nicely inside the routed template. So for the P90s then the routes they're a bit more tricky than the humbuckers because the angle for the P90s really needs to be in the bottom of the pickup cavity and the actual pickup cavity is the whole cavity itself is angled like that slightly. So when I routed for the P90s, I did the same thing again using the wooden shims either side and then I stuck the template onto that and then I routed those out. And then you'll notice that this P90 route is quite a bit shallower than this one and that is essentially because the pickup is going to be sat quite a bit higher in order to make sure it's close enough to the strings. So same thing with the shims, I routed a much shallower control out and then I drilled through and made another little cavity slightly further down which just makes sure there's enough space for both wires to be able to fit through. The roundovers, exact same process as before. I'm just going to go around with a 5 mil round over a bit, trying to go with the direction of the grain. So to make some control cavities then, I've got my template here, which I'm going to stick on with some masking tape and super glue. And then I'm just going to hog out all this material.
So I've gone to about seven mil depth. Um, I didn't particularly want to go much deeper, just because I want the uh, the strength on the top here. So when it comes to it, I'll probably end up just using a force and a bit and just just removing a circle down to about five mil to make sure I've got enough space under my switch, etc. Um, and you should be able to see. I don't know, like a hole just there where I drilled, which has appeared from where I drilled through the P90 slot. And then again, another one just there where I drilled through for the jack. So that way there's no tear out. So what I was originally going to do for covers is take an off cut from this body. And a few days ago, I took that off cut and I roughed it out and cut it down the middle a couple of times until I got a couple of um, and this one looks pretty good because it matches that piece of wood this one unfortunately doesn't and I was kind of thinking it'll probably look okay but if I was going to go to the trouble of using a piece of wood then I really want to match the grain up so when I was rummaging around, I found a couple of face plates. So this is African ebony, same as the fretboard and headstock. Indian rosewood, same as the fretboard and headstock. So I thought it might be a nice little touch just to use these. Let go. <laughs> don't often use a table router. Jobs like this, it's a damn sight quicker. my control cavity cover routes I've got my perspex template that I'm using and I've duped that onto some 18mm uh, MDF here and the whole point of that is I don't think there's a router bit in the world that's small enough for this to be sufficient on its own uh, without raising it up and also because it's only 5mm thick there's not really an awful lot for the bearing to uh, roll up against so adding that extra bit of MDF underneath just to make sure it's more accurate and I've stuck that on and um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to route this and I'm going to move my route a bit down to the current surface and then I'm going to use my plate as a depth stop there we go so I, I've already set this I want to go basically the depth of this and then just a tiny bit more um, there's going to be lacquer underneath it so it'll end up being slightly shallower than I route it so that just going in there loosely is plenty 
We're gonna know that now. You can see I've routed slightly deeper, maybe about a mil or so deeper than the actual thickness of the control plate. Um, and that just means that I've got plenty of room. I kind of like them inset ever so slightly anyway, but it just means that when I spray lacquer over the thing, because that will add a bit of depth to it as well, and it's not going to be bulging out of the body at all. I definitely don't want that. And I want to keep as much thickness in the control plate as I can. Now that these two guys are routed, in the next episode, I think we shall be carving the necks, getting them to fit nicely in the pockets, and then possibly gluing them in as well. See you next time. Oh,